Hello everybody, it's me again. Welcome to my channel. So the firstly, just like and subscribe to support me and watch a lot of video in the future. With the lesson before, I got you how to interfacing with the GAT sensor with the PIC 16 app I double seven eight. So this lesson today, I will guide you how to interfacing with the PIR sensor to detect the motion so the first i will guide you how to make the simulation as you can see in the product here is our microcontroller pitch sitting at a double seven eight and i'm using four megahertz crystal here is a button connect to the drift set pin now I just take some of the device. The first we need to use the LCD. And here I uh, is our LCD. I need to take the variable resistor. I change it value to 10 kilo ohm. This pin I connect to the power. And this pin I connect to the ground. I also mark a label for this pin. And this label 5 voltage. 0 voltage. The first I will connect all the pin of the LCD. Okay, so I just mark a label with the first pin VSS I also connect to the zero voltage and here connect to the 5 voltage this pin I connect to the VEE the output of the resi variable resistor after that I will connect all these pins to the C1, this pin to C2, here connect to C3, and I will using the 4 bit chamfer data, so I connect all this pin to the box C, okay, so we also connect to the LCD to display the value or anything in the LCD on the LCD now we need to take the PIR sensor and you can see it in this you can download the library for a product in the link below this video I also did the link to download the video download the software or download the hardware download the library in the link below this video you can accept and download we also have a lot of sensor and I will choose this sensor. Okay, here is our PIR sensor to detect the motion. With the first pin, I will connect to the power and here I also we also using the 5 voltage, right? With the re ND, I also connect to the ground. And this pin, I will connect. I the first I need some mark label, and I will connect this pin to the pin D zero, right? So I also mark the label here to connect. Mute. Mark the label. Okay. Oh, change this. RB yellow, right? When I mark the label that is, it means I will connect the out pin of the PIR sensor to connect with the pin D yellow of the out microcontroller. So I will using this pin, pin D0 to 
receive the signal come from the PIR sensor and I using signal come from this to using this signal to display on the LCD and here is a test pin to make the simulation I also connect this pin to the logic tunnel right this device have us on the simulation you just connect to that pin right so here is our simulation the first before you are going to the coding you need to uh, build the hex file for this sensor you just to access you choose the library and you can see the library of the process simulation and here is the our PIR sensor you need to take the hex file and using it and here you need to change this value I also using 4 megahertz so this clock you need to change the value to 4 megahertz okay and you need to download the library before you make the simulation and so now we are just going to code link for this solution you should open the CC at compiler <coughs> To this file new project wired. And I will save this project on the desktop. This folder I using this default name, you can change the another name. To the PIC 16 and our microcontroller. Here is our microcontroller and you need to change this value to 4 MHz. If you using 12 or 20 MHz, you just change this value. After that, you need to create project. Okay, so after create project, you need to press the review for me. After you review, you can see in the file with the main .8 library. The software also help us build a lot of command. We don't need to typing again. And I also add the LCD library. And LCD library you can download with the link below this video. I also leave the LCD library with the link below this video. I also add the library string. and mat right after you add all the library you need you need to review okay <clears throat> and you can see in the file here is a lcd library and if you want to connect the lcd with another pin like a Pin B1 to so B7, you need to change the value in this. And here, we connect to the LCD and using the C1 to C7, so I also using this. If you want to change another pin, you just to change in this, right? Here is our LCD library. So now for the first, I need to set up something. LCD. This command it means warm up LCD. This command to clear LCD. And I will display the string. It means column one row one. P I 
a detect motion okay I just display this setting on the LCD review okay you can see in the simulation we need to using the hack file I save this project on the desktop and here is our hex file you choosing it okay okay PIR detect motion uh, with the string motion we can display it we, we cannot display it because the LCD also have 16 column right so I will uh, change a little bit in here PIR detect motion I just change this string to right okay PIR detect and you can see with the normally situation the output pin of the PIR sensor also have the low value right the low signal and you can see when I change this toggle to simulation you can see the signal come from the output pin of the PIR sensor change for the signal to the D0 pin of the PIC 16F A7A it change the value to the high level right and when I change this value with the normal change, uh, like a normally situation you can see the output signal also have a low value and when I change this it means we have the motion detect this value this signal change to the high value right and we using the level change in this pin come from the D0 and using this signal to detect or to using this signal to make alarm or anything we want to be right so now the plot I just define something PIR input D0 right and here if PIR equal one equal one it means detect motion I also display on the LCD go to it A S Y it means column one and row to display the string P I R warning P I R warning right warning and with the normally situation I also display the string I should copy to save the thumb and to not warning PIR normal right normally right it's okay now we just to review and you can see in the simulation on the product as you can see with the normally situation we don't have the the PIR sensor have or not detect the motion LCD also display the string PIR normally and when we have the when the sensor detects the motion and to simulation I change this signal right you can see the signal come from the D0 pin it change to the high level and the LCD display the string PIR warning 
to let us know to sensor detect the motion, right? When I change this signal, and you can see, with the signal come from the D0, it also have the low value, right? Low signal and the display on the LCD also the PIR normally. So now to be clearly, I also connect with the LED, right? I also went on the LED to be clearly change the value or change the detect with the sensor. But we need to using the resistor. And change it value to 120 ohm. I you connect this pin to the. Okay, so uh, I will connect this pin to the pin D. Oh, we have something wrong with the. So now I change this value. We will connect this pin to the D. Oh, right and here I uh, will connect to the ground right <coughs> here I just make something the first I defined the LED you can connect to the booster or anything you want pin D for right with the first situation when we have the when we detect when the sensor detect the motion I will change I will turn on the LED LED and with the normally situation also Turn off the LED, right? Review. And you just see in this, normally situation LCD display the string PIR normally. And when we have, when the PIR sensor detect the motion, you can see, the first LCD display the string the PIR warning and the LED also turn on to warning us right you can connect with the to the booster or anything to make the boost warning it depends on you and with the normally situation I change this signal and you can see just take a while you can see LCD also display PIR normally and LED also turn off, right? Change this, detect the motion normally situation. Okay, change this normally. Okay, so this lesson today has done. Just uh, like and subscribe to supporting me and watch a lot of lessons in the future. I not only make the lesson with the PIC 16, I also make the lesson of the ATME 16 and also make the STM32. You can watch a lot of lesson in the future. So, see you in the next time.